Hi, I was wondering about what type of video I could make and I thought posting a video where I make a fool of myself was definitely the best choice so here we are. I am warning you, some of these confessions are pretty embarrassing. With that out of the way, I think we can begin. Enjoy this mess of a video I guess. Confession number one. I first thought stray kids were orphan kids and that's why they were called stray. How embarrassing I know. When I got into K-pop Stray Kids had not debuted yet but JYP had already begun airing the show title Stray Kids which was the show that ended up forming the group. I never watched the show but I heard about it and watched a couple of clips. I didn't really know the context but the name made me think the contestants were all orphans who had no parents and had been taken in by the companies. I basically thought Stray Kids was a show to form a group made by orphan trainees. Literally how can anyone be so fucking dumb? Confession number two, I thought dance practices were literal practices. So basically when I first got into K-pop and I saw groups posting dance practice videos I thought those were videos that showed the groups practicing the choreo, like learning the steps, adjusting the formations, rehearsing the moves etc. Like I thought they just recorded themselves during a learning process and it was only later on that I found out that dance practice videos are just regular dance performances that take place in the practice room. Confession number three, I was never a big fan of Nako and Hitomi's nasal voices. Don't get me wrong, I know they are good vocalists and they can sing well, I'm not questioning their singing abilities at all because they are very good, but their nasal voices were never really my cup of tea, they kinda felt out of place sometimes especially during ballads and in those eyes one songs that were not that bubbly, but despite that, we cannot deny that both Hitomi and Nako are good vocalists. Confession number 4, some idols annoy me for no reason, it's probably like that for everyone and bestie, it's okay, you don't have to feel bad about disliking someone for no particular reason, what's not okay is sending hate to people who have done nothing and you just happen to dislike, but if you are respectful and keep your annoyance to yourself then that's fine, like sometimes I just see an idol and I automatically roll my eyes, these idols have done absolutely nothing to piss me off, actually they're mostly sweet, funny, talented and I have absolutely no reason to not like them. But things do be like that sometimes, it must have happened to you in real life as well. You see someone and you just cannot vibe with them at all even if you try and even if they have done nothing wrong. Confession number 5, I thought Exo Schumann was Chinese. Mind you this was back in 2017 when I had just gotten into K-pop. This mainly happened because of his name, I don't know but it sounded Chinese to me. It also didn't help that he was part of XOM which was the unit in charge of singing in Chinese, so this convinced me even more. I thought he was Chinese for a couple of weeks before checking out EXO's profiles and realizing I was totally wrong. I felt a bit of a fool but that's okay, it can happen. Confession number 6, I'm kind of ashamed to tell people I'm into K-pop. I know there's nothing wrong with liking K-pop but when people in real life ask me what kind of music I listen to I never mention K-pop. Or if K-pop gets mentioned I always pretend not to know much about it. I never tell people I'm into K-pop mainly because usually K-pop stands don't have a great reputation. Most people just think of K-pop stands as crazy fangirls and I don't want people in real life to think I'm like that because I'm not. But there's unfortunately a stigma surrounding K-pop stands and this is because there are actually many toxic stands that give K-pop a bad reputation. So I usually never tell people in real life that I listen to K-pop. I only tell my friends and people I'm comfortable with. People that know my personality and know I'm far from being a crazy stan. Just because I think that if I told random people they would just make assumptions about me. Confession number 7. I thought you had to keep up with a group very closely to call yourself a stan. For years I thought that if you wanted to call yourself a stan of a group then you had to actively follow them and always know what they were up to. I thought that otherwise you weren't really a stan but just a casual listener and that's not true at all. We all have our definition of standing, and I personally consider myself a stan if I like the music, if I can somehow establish a connection with the members and if I enjoy the group's dynamics, but that doesn't mean you have to watch all of their content the day it comes out. I stan many groups but only actively follow my alts and semi-alts. I overall stan quite a few groups but if you ask me what they've been up to I might not know because maybe it's been a whole month since I tuned in to see what they were doing. If you follow many groups it's impossible keeping up with everyone and that's okay. Obviously you're not gonna follow every group as closely as you follow your alts, but that doesn't mean you cannot call yourself a stan. Confession number 8. I can't wait for Kepler's disbandment day to come. Okay maybe not exactly, but let's say I think there are many positive aspects about Kepler disbanding and each of the girls going their separate ways. I cannot be the only one that thinks so. I feel like it would be much better for them to do their own stuff and just move on to greater things in the future. I am mostly saying this for those members that get constant hate from the whole fandom just for breathing. As a Dayan and Chiyan stan I'm honestly very tired and I cannot wait for the day they will have their own careers and they won't have to deal with the fandom that constantly hates on them and discredits their talents every single day. Like I just think all of the girls will shine more on their own and maybe the disbandment is for the better. I already know I'm gonna be sad when the day comes. Just like I was sad when it happened with Eyes 1 even if I told myself it was for the better. But anyway I will not be devastated when Kepler will part ways because I think it will ultimately be better for everyone. Confession number 9. I really struggle to get into boy groups. There are some exceptions. But even when it comes to the few boy groups I stan. 
I can never feel the same way I do with girl groups. I just can't seem to be as interested in boy groups. Even if I love their music and I think they're extremely talented and funny, I just can't seem to feel that kind of connection that I feel with girl groups. Even with the few boy groups that I stan, I watch their content, listen to their music, I love their personalities etc. But I just can't ever seem to stan a boy group the way I do with girl groups and I really don't know why. But anyway that's perfectly okay. If you prefer boy groups over girl groups or vice versa that's fine. It's just your personal preference and you don't have to feel bad about it. Confession number 10. I don't really like small groups. Well let me explain. Let's just say I really prefer when a group is big, with at least 6 members. I don't know but I just love seeing all of the different dynamics among the members and obviously there's just so much more to enjoy if there are more members. There's much more variety in personality, in dancing style, rapping style and singing style and things like that. When it comes to small groups I get bored pretty easily. This isn't the members fault. It's not like they're boring people it's just that I really prefer the large variety of things that comes with big groups. Confession number 11. I lose interest in groups slash artists pretty quickly. If I look back at artists I used to stand I see how much my stand list has changed. There are some groups I really really loved and now I barely follow. I sometimes feel kinda bad because there isn't a specific reason. It's not like I stopped liking their music or things like that. I just lost interest for some reason I don't know. Sometimes I get interested in someone and it doesn't take much for me to lose that interest soon after. I really hate it when that happens but I can't do anything about it. Sometimes I see people that have been consistently standing an artist for years without ever losing interest and I wish it was the same for me. But it's not always like that. Because I think I lose interest pretty quickly and I feel bad about it. Confession number 12. I just recently realized that Stray Kids Minho and Lino are the same person. I am not familiar with Stray Kids at all and I have just always heard their names being thrown around. I think I can name five of the members but I'm clueless about the others. I still don't know how Minho looks like but I just learned that Lino is just his stage name and they are not two different people. At least now I know after five fucking years of being into K-pop. Thank you. Confession number 13. I thought TXT and Everglow were boring because people said they were. I remember when both groups first debuted and people were saying things like yeah their music is good but their personalities are boring. That was most likely because they were very new and were maybe still uncomfortable around the cameras. But anyway people made it seem like they literally had no personality and I just assumed that was true. Little did I know they were gonna become two groups I really like. It was only when I actually started getting into them that I realized they were not boring at all. I personally find both Everglow and TXT super funny but I do acknowledge that in the very beginning they were a bit more nervous and quiet. But I honestly think it's very cute when you can see rookies being nervous. Confession number 14. I lost interest in 3rd gen. Sometimes I wonder how it happened considering I literally got into K-pop during 3rd gen and even when 4th gen started I still mainly stand 3rd gen groups. Now that I think about it I stopped following most of the 3rd gen groups I used to be into. Some of them just made music and content I didn't enjoy anymore, while others simply became inactive or disbanded. Now I mostly follow 4th gen artists and there aren't many 3rd gen groups I stand. For some reason I just enjoy 4th gen's music, concepts, style and groups more than 3rd gen's. I only stand a couple of 3rd gen groups and if I look at other 3rd gen groups I find myself really uninterested in standing them. Confession number 15. I thought all artists under a company lived in the company. This was literally during my first days as a K-pop stan. Don't judge me. I just naturally assumed that groups lived in the entertainment company building and I just then realized they lived in separate dorms. That was my last opinion. This mess of a video is over. I know, it was pretty embarrassing but at least most of these stupid confessions are related to things that happened a long time ago when I was just a clueless girl who had just gotten into K-pop. Anyway please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed. Bye.